Grade 6 Math, number 5.7b. Percents to fractions to decimals. I'm going to show you this. We've got a pizza. And I've split it into fractions, decimals, and percents. You can see that by cutting it right down the middle here, this is half the pizza right here. It's 50 over 100. It's 50%. It's 0.50. Decimal percentage fraction, see? Simplified fraction. From here to here is one-fourth of the pizza. If we were to have cut the pizza into fours, see? This would be one-fourth, 25 over 100, or 25 percent. This little piece is 10 percent. If the pizza was cut into pieces of 10, they'd all be this size. This is 10 one hundredths, one tenth, ten percent, ten hundredths of the pizza. This is five percent of the pizza. So the smaller the percentage gets and the decimal gets, the smaller the piece gets. See? Here's two percent of the pizza. If the pizza was cut into a hundred pieces, they would all be this size of this blue one, one percent and everyone would get a tiny little slice. I had to extend it beyond the pizza so I could have room to write, but it actually would stop here, wouldn't it? The little slice everyone would get would be this little sliver inside of here would be 1%. And that would be the pizza being cut into 100 pieces, see? So the bigger the numerator and the bigger the percentage, the more pizza you get, the bigger the slice, okay? So the larger the number is over 100, the larger the numerator is, the larger the piece is, okay? If we had a dollar, this would be 100% of the dollar, the whole dollar. 50% of the dollar would be half of it. It would be this much, see? That would be 50 cents of the 100 pennies. This is 25% of the dollar. Just this little part with the, with the ones here and the letter F. That's it. 0 0.25, 25 over 100, 25 pennies out of 100. This little section right here would be 10 cents of the dollar. See? That's 10% of the dollar. All of this rest past here would be 90%. See? This is the cutoff for the 10. See? Right there. Going straight up here. And if we did one penny of the 100 pennies in a dollar, it would be this red sliver coming right up the edge. That would be 1%, one hundredth of the dollar. See that? Okay, so I did this to help you. If this is Emma's budget, she spends 30% for rent, 20% for food, 15% of her money on a car, this is for each month, 10% on utilities, 5% on clothes, 5% on entertainment, 5% is miscellaneous for just things that pop up, and she puts 10% of her monthly earnings into savings. If you add all of the percentages up, you'd have 100%, because that would be her pay, all of her pay. And by knowing that she spends $600 a month on food, and that's 20% of her budget, we could figure out what all the rest of these are. If food is 20% and utilities are 10%, 10 is half of 20. So utilities is half of 600, 300, see? And if this is 300 and she spends 5% on clothes, 5 is half of 10. Half of 300 is 150. So we know she spends 150 on clothes, 150 on entertainment, like movies and restaurants and stuff, and 150 on miscellaneous. We also know she spends, she puts 300 each month into her savings account. And we could figure out what her rent is, all by knowing this one little piece of information. See? And the whole thing is 100%. So here's what it looks like on a number line. If we've got one-fourth, 25%, a half, which is 50%, and three-fourths, which is 0 0.75, 75 hundredths, and here's one hole right here. 
and then two would be here and three would be here so this is just the number one okay so that would be half the pizza in between here okay so this is just up to number one if we were to take 10% of number one, one tenth, like the green part here. If we took one penny and split the penny, well, this would be more like a dollar because it's like 10 cents, right? So let's say this is a dollar and we split it up into dimes and we took one of the dimes. I opened it up here so that the dime was split into pennies. See? The 10 cents turned into one cents. See? So everything that's in this little black space got opened up so you could see it like with a magnifying glass. That's what it would look like. 0 .1, 0 .1, 0 .02, 0 .03, 0 0.01, 0.02, 0.03, 0.04. Before it was 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4. Now it's 0 0.01, 0 0.02, you know, 0, 01. I should be saying not 0. If we took this little penny and opened it up with a magnifying glass to look inside of it, and here was the penny over here. See? We opened it up and expanded it. And split the penny into ten parts. We'd have thousands. And it would look like this. See? 0 .001, 0 .002. So do you see how each time the number got farther away from the decimal point with a zero in front of it? Now it's got two zeros in front of it. And if we took this little section and opened it up, each one would be 0 0.0001, because then we'd be getting into the ten thousands. So here we're in, this is one, this is a tenth, this is a hundredth, this is a thousandth, okay? We opened each one up like with a magnifying glass or with a microscope, okay? So we're going to be doing ordering fractions and decimals next. So I wanted you to see what it looks like when we started looking inside these tiny little spaces of in between each one of these, see? All right? Okay, I hope this gives you a better idea of the breakdown of fractions, decimals, and percents. And I'll see you next video. We'll put these in order, okay? Bye.